Hello and welcome or welcome back. This is Jerry. Today we will be assembling the Spooky Tree Paper Model, a digital download from creativevilla.com, where you can find lots of fun paper model templates ranging from beginner to advanced in a variety of categories. For this project, you will need the following. 8.5 by 11 inch paper around 80 pound thickness or similar weight cardstock. A scoring tool or dull edge knife for scoring fold lines. You can find scoring tools at your local hobby store or of course online. A model or paper craft cutting knife. I will be using and recommend a sharp egg sacto type knife. These are extremely sharp and are definitely an adult tool, so please be careful when using an egg sacto knife. A straight edge for cutting and scoring. I recommend a transparent straight edge so you can see what's underneath. I'll be using a small clear drafting triangle, which you can see is pretty beat up, but works just fine. And lastly, quick dry model glue or super glue, which is what I use and recommend for fast gluing to keep your project moving along quickly. The downside to super glue, as you will see in most of my videos, it's easy to glue your fingers to the paper or to each other, so please be careful when using super glue with your projects. Let's get started. I've downloaded the templates from creativevilla.com and have printed out the instructions on plain paper and printed templates on my 80 pound thicker paper. Every paper model template comes with an instruction sheet detailing the difficulty level of this particular model, how many pieces of paper you will need, as well as some short but detailed instructions on recommended assembly. Creative Villa paper models are broken up into elements. These elements are usually assembled individually and then attached to other elements as the model progresses until the entire model is complete. Note the pro tips at the bottom of the page. Assemble from small to large, from center to out, and from inside enclosed areas to open areas. Imagine painting a floor. You wouldn't start at the door and end up in the corner and get stuck. Same principle applies here when assembling paper models. I will be following the instructions at the bottom of the sheet, as well as giving you any tips or recommended techniques along the way. Before we start, I want to show you an assembled spooky tree. We'll start at the top and work our way down. Starting with the top branch 2, then top branch 1, and then attaching them together, then we'll assemble the middle branches and set them aside. Next, we'll assemble and attach trunk top 1 and 2, and attach the middle branches to them. The trunk middle elements will then be added one at a time, and then the trunk bottom. We'll then assemble and attach the roots to the tree and finally close up the bottom. Alright, let's do this. I'll go ahead and score all the fold lines on this first page. I'll start here and work my way through all of them, and then start cutting out the individual pieces and elements. I'll score this first piece, and then fast forward through the rest on this sheet, so you don't have to fall asleep watching me score all these lines. When I'm done scoring, I'll begin cutting out each element one at a time. All right, let's start cutting out our first piece. I'm using the straight edge on the solid cut lines to make sure I have a nice straight cut. I won't bother cutting the little tabs out with the straight edge as they don't have to be perfect and you won't see them anyway. And there you have it, our first piece. I prefer to cut each piece out, then fold and glue them one at a time. This helps keep your uncut pieces all in one place so they don't get lost or misplaced. You always know where they are at, and how many you have left to cut out. I'll start folding this tiny little part carefully. Dashed lines fold away from you, dotted lines fold inward. This is where attention to scoring comes to either haunt or reward you. A good score makes a good fold, a bad score, well, it's not pretty. 
I'm using very little glue on these tiny tabs. A little super glue goes a very long way. It is assumed that you will be painting this particular paper model when complete, as the numbers and fold lines will be on the outside of the model. And there you go, now to cut and fold the second piece. Unlike the first piece, I'm not going to close this one on itself. Instead, I'll attach it to the first piece somewhere near the middle, and then wrap it around one tab at a time until it's close. We'll do this for all the pieces going forward. And that's top branch one. Next, I'll cut out the top branch number two pieces, glue them together, and then attach them to the top branch one element by lining up and gluing the letter tabs. I'm using the end of a small brush to get into places my fingers can't to make sure the tab is flattened.
Now that top branch one and two are complete, I'll attach them together, matching up the letters on the tag. I'm going to start at this small tab and then complete the sides. And now the sides to attach these two elements together. And there we have it, the top of the spooky tree. Before we move on to the middle branches, I'm gonna go ahead and assemble the root one element from this page and set it aside until the end. And there is root one. A quick request regarding your scraps. Please consider recycling your paper scraps. These will go back into the system to produce products you use every day like cardboard, paper towels, and newspapers. All right, I'm going to go ahead and score sheet number two here, and then follow the order of assembly per the instruction sheet. Always check the instruction sheet as updates are made occasionally because of updates to the model sheets or artist feedback and recommendations. Following the order of assembly, I'm going to cut and assemble the middle branch too then the middle branch one and set them aside. Then I'll cut out and assemble part one and two of the trunk top. And there is middle branch two, which I'll set aside for now. Now for middle branch one. And there we have middle branch one, which I'm also gonna set aside for now. I'm going to cut out the trunk top part one piece here first, and then start to assemble the middle branches together to what I will call the main piece. 
Okay, so first I'm going to attach the trunk top part one to the main piece. Once again, starting somewhere in the middle, and then wrapping it around as I glue. With the trunk top, part one, in place, I'll go ahead and attach the middle branch too, starting with the small tab in the middle, and then finishing the sides. And there we go. I'll cut out trunk top part two now and attach it to the main piece. Now that the trunk top part two is in place, we can attach the middle branch one. As you can see, I'm building this model a section at a time. That way I can still get my fingers inside to reach the tabs to help align and glue them. Had I assembled the top trunk pieces together before the middle branches, I might have had a challenging time getting the branches aligned and glued properly. Okay, it's starting to look like a tree now. Now I'll score and cut out the trunk middle pieces and attach them to the main piece. Alright, I'll glue the trunk middle part one piece to the main piece in the usual fashion, starting somewhere in the middle and working my way around. And now for trunk middle part two. And attach that to the main piece. So far so good. Time to score and cut the final element of the trunk, the trunk bottom. Note that the very bottom tab is the last piece to be glued after all the roots have been attached. There is a note on the template recommending that you glue that tab last, so we won't glue this tab in place until we have the roots attached to the main piece. Okay, the trunk bottom is attached, and now we can start attaching the roots. I'll grab my root one that I set aside earlier and attach it to the trunk bottom.
All right, that looks good. On to the last two pieces. First, I'm going to score and cut out root two and attach it to the main piece. Then I'll finish up with the final root three element and close the tree up at the bottom. and there is root two. Now to attach this to the main piece. All right, our final element. I'll go ahead and score and cut out all the pieces since this is our last part to put together. Okay, let's attach the final element to the main piece. When closing the bottom of the tree, if there are more than three tabs remaining to be glued, I usually glue one or two while I can still get my fingers in there. And then glue the final two to three tabs at the same time and just hold them in place until the glue has a chance to dry. And just like that, our spooky tree is complete. Here is the final assembled tree. I painted mine with flat black spray paint, which I felt gave it a good Halloween look. That completes this assemble video. I hope you got some good tips and ideas that you can bring to your own projects. You can find the link to this digital download project and many others from creativevilla.com in the description below. After playback, I noticed that my hands left the frame a couple times. 
Besides that, if you think I can do something better, please let me know, as we are always trying to improve. If you have any suggestions for future Assemble videos, let us know in the comments below. Thanks and best wishes. You can find more fun paper model templates like this one over at creativevilla.com. If you enjoyed this video, please tap the like button and subscribe to our channel to get notified when new videos are posted. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.